Well, one in five individuals along the Central Gulf Coast struggle with food assistance needs. And News 25 Lorraine Weisskopf is live now speaking with one organization whose vision sees a hunger-free Central Gulf Coast. Lorraine, tell us all about it. Well, good morning, Ashley. And with me today is Feeding the Gulf Coast. And I actually have the president of the organization with me. So, Michael, can you tell me a little bit about Feeding the Gulf Coast and their purpose? Yes. As a food bank, our job is to collect food, which we do from retailers, working with farmers, working with state and uh, federal agencies to collect the food, uh, working with volunteers, we sort and, and ensure the food is uh, ready to go. And then we partner with our agencies, uh, which are really the lifeblood of the whole thing. Uh, they're uh, running pantries, uh, we provide them the food and they distribute it to the, to the individuals in need out there. Uh, we also run mobile pantries, uh, so if it's food, we're in it. Uh, child nutrition programs we run, making sure that kids are getting proper nutrition. Uh, we also work uh, on SNAP outreach uh, also. And uh, I know this year, considering so we started the pandemic, then multiple hurricanes on the coast, and now we're at the holidays. So it must be a pretty hectic year for you guys. Yes. Uh, last year, uh, we were on pace in, uh, across our entire organization to put about 28, 29 million uh, pounds of food. This year, it's going to be over 40 million, we project. Uh, a huge increase, uh, largely due to COVID, of course, which hit us in March. Uh, and then having Sally and Zeta come through has put a lot of people uh, in a vulnerable position. And considering the huge outreach that you do have in Mississippi, I mean, apart from just having donations, I can only assume you all really need volunteer, uh, volunteers. Yeah, I was mentioning our partner agencies, and volunteers are the other, are the other big part of this. Uh, without them, we couldn't do what we do. The volunteers that come out to our uh, mobile pantry events, the volunteers that come to our facility to help us sort food, to get word out. Uh, really, without the volunteers, uh, we couldn't accomplish uh, nearly anything that we do. So uh, we have a great, hardworking staff, uh, but volunteers really push us over the, over the top. Well, thank you for being me here today, Michael. And if you are interested in volunteering, donating, or even learning about how you can get help yourself, just go and check out the feed, the gulfcoast.org website. Reporting live in Gulfport for News 25, I'm Lorraine Weiskopf.